KB2MXV here. I want to show you guys how I go about adding new repeaters to my code plug. Um, and I'm talking DMR repeaters. Uh, DMR repeaters, you know, they're either Seabridge or, or Brandmeister. And on a Brandmeister repeater, you know, everybody uses time slot one basically for any talk group that you want. You know, there's over a thousand different talk groups. But I only use certain talk groups. So I'm going to use, uh, as an example, uh, KC3 LEE's uh, zone here and if I double click into the zone I have 21 channels here and this is basically the channels I use the TAC channels uh, PA local New York Metro uh, so, so you get the idea and if you notice whenever I add a repeater uh, to my code plug I always start the channel name with either a call sign or it's just something similar so I have everything grouped together so what I do is when I want to create a new repeater I'll first take uh, I'll export my channels and I'm just gonna dump this to my desktop right now and I'm just gonna call this uh, test okay and I'm gonna say export now I have over a thousand channels uh, but you'll you'll see where I'm going, you know, so this way you don't have to start typing channels one at a time. Now, I use Microsoft Excel. Uh, you may use that. You might have other software, but you'll see where I'm going with this. So once you export your channels, come on. I'm still waiting. Any day. Still waiting. I'm trying to do this all in live uh, time. Okay, export complete. Okay, so again, uh, I'm going to be working with the uh, KC3 LEE. You'll see 21 channels in the zone, and these how my channel. These are how my channels are named. Now, like I said, what, you know, when I create a new. Uh, repeater that I want to talk on especially if it's Brandmeister I basically always use the same channels I carry them over so let's go take a look at that uh, uh, CSV file it made so if I double click it and open it up all right I'll uh, open the channel name so I have all my channels in alphabetical order so we were looking at the LEE repeater, if you guys remember that. So here's what I do. I'll scroll down, and as you can see, from here all the way up to here, these are all the, re the channels that are in my uh, LEE repeater. What I do is I just quick copy them. I go all the way down to the bottom of my channel list. I get rid of my last two channels, the VFOs, delete those, and then I just click at the end, the first box, and I paste them. Is it not going to paste? What is it doing? Oh, I have to highlight the whole row. No? No? Okay, let's try that again. Okay, I'm doing this live, so. H-I-J-K <laughs> uh, Lee. All right. So, I'm copying all the Lee channels, copy, going to the end of my list, come on, going to the end of my list, and I'm going to paste them all. <clears throat> all right, so I pasted everything in. So, what do I do from here? Well, the first thing I do is I go back up to the top real quick. Because as you'll notice, the first column is channel numbers. So we don't want to duplicate our channel numbers. So what you could do, I guess, um, but it, what I like to do is go to the very top. You see this NO period? I like to delete the whole column and then just type NO period back at the top. What that's going to do is that's going to input all your channels. All right, so let's get to the bottom where I added those LEE channels. Here they are. So what I'll do here is I'll highlight all the LEE channels, 
and I'll go to uh, find and replace and I'll just replace LEE -E, and I'll just replace it with uh, I don't know let's just call them uh, ABC you know whatever you want and when you do replace all made 21 replacements okay so now I got new channel names so the next thing I want to do is I want to correct the receive and transmit frequency so let's say the, the new receive frequency for this new repeater is 441.1 and the new transmit is 446.1 very good I just do that on the first one then I come over copy and paste so boom all my channels are set up the only other thing I need to change is my color code column T is your color code now uh, the other uh, repeater was on color code 8 so let's just say the the new repeater we want to use is on color code I don't know color code 3 just change it copy and paste them all right so we changed the name we changed the receive we changed the transmit and we change the color code all the time slots uh, which is the U column those are all the same so what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit the save button once you hit yes again this is Microsoft Excel and then I wanna close Excel it's gonna ask if you want to save it in the Microsoft Excel format you say don't save so here's the updated CS the test.csv so I go back into my uh, code plug and let me just take a look at my channels here when they open up and I'm going to scroll to my to the bottom of my list and here you should be able to see my last channel uh, alright 433.5 it's 1457 so channel 1457 is my last channel what I'm going to do now is I'll go to tools and import I'll say import my channel list and to my desktop I'm gonna grab the test.csv and I'm gonna say open and uh, to import them you want to hit the import button at the bottom so right now I'm at 1457 and I think we added what did I say 21 channels maybe so we should be up to 77 78 14 78 let's import them and let's see and you'll see the channel name that they're all going to start with ABC uh, you'll see them all here they're going to start with ABC's and this is what I always do it, it's the fastest and easiest way I mean unless you're adding a repeater and you want to use totally different channels uh, or totally different talk groups but when I add something for like brand mass brand my I always use the same talk groups now right, maybe it doesn't take two minutes to make this but it's much faster than typing everything back in and again I, I got almost 1500 channels so there's a a lot happening here okay import complete now watch when I hit the OK you're gonna see all this populate and I'll hit close on this and here they go so from 1458 you see all these ABC channels all these ABC channels are now in my code plug so the next step is I'll go to my zone I'll go down to the bottom and I'll just make a new zone and I'll call the zone ABC and I'll scroll all the way to the bottom of my channel list and at the bottom of my channel list here are all the ABC channels so what I'll do is I'll just bring all the ABC channels over all right now once they're over if you want to sort them by by name you can do that if you want to sort them by ID you can do that 
and that's it. Hit the OK. Here it is, 21 channels. Write it to your radio.